What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in the world of World War Minecraft, and, uh, that's weird. Apparently, our area is not sealed. What is going on here? Why is our area unsealed? Our area should totally be sealed. What is going on? Well, for some reason, my area is not sealed, and I have no idea why. Something is up. Uh, the only thing I have changed is uh, way out there. So that, that shouldn't really be affecting anything. At least I don't think. Uh, I did want to show you guys this. Uh, it's even more important now that my area is unsealed. Uh, we have an oxygen compressor here. I showed you guys this before, I believe on the home world. Uh, this right here allows me to take oxygen from the system and compress it into tanks and uh, this basically keeps keeps me from dying. So that is uh, that's where all my oxygen comes from from all these beautiful plants that somehow work here uh, on uh, a place where they have no power. Not questioning, just just enjoying the potential. Now, we have Mistcraft enabled on the server, I do believe. Let me double check. Uh, yes. You can see we have linking books, we have descriptive books, etc., etc. Uh, and I do plan on using those. The issue that we're going to run into is uh, we don't have any quarries. So I need to be getting a large amount of materials. Uh, but unfortunately, at this point in time, you know, without the without quarries, you know, it's going to be kind of difficult to do. So my answer for that is something that's a little bit more, in, in one instance it's complex, and in another instance it's more basic. So it, it kind of, kind of changes things a bit. Let's get back inside. I don't think this is, yeah, it's still not working. I'm not sure why. Let me make sure no tomfoolery is going. Somebody put a book here. I don't know who did that. But the base looks secure as far as I can tell. Something happened. It, it may be just buggy. This version of Galacticraft, unfortunately, is a bit buggy. But no, it does seem like the base is 100% sealed. That is definitely sealed. Uh, the airlock is functioning. Huh. I'm not sure. We will be upgrading to 1.6 uh, in the future, um, probably within the next couple weeks. Hopefully, we'll see how that goes. Um, but uh, until then, we're stuck with it. So, <laughs> some of the things don't work appropriately. This is one of them. Thankfully, I've got um, plenty of of stuff going outside, so I can keep myself in oxygen, and it, it shouldn't be a problem. So. All right, well, let's cover what we're going to be covering today, and we're going to be building uh, a Steve's cart. And that's this little thing right here. I actually don't know if my engine will work with it. Uh, it's something that I'm curious to see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's turning. So I'm going to assume that it doesn't. It's going to actually need coal to run this thing. Now, uh, this cart right here, a few of you guys may remember. Um, I had some of you guys build, um, or help me build the Galgadorian hull and the Galgadorian drill. Reason for that is this is the biggest and best cart there is in the game. Um, it's huge. It's extremely expensive. Uh, for those of you guys who did not partake in the contest, uh, let me show you guys how nasty this is. Uh, for the Galgadorian drill, you've got to have all of this. Now, hardened drill, that's kind of nasty, but it's it's not it's not so bad. I mean, there's there's some issues with this. I mean, this takes a while to make. You got to make all these little things. It takes a lot of stuff. Uh, the real bitch are these Galgadorian blocks, and these are made from lumps. And that's each of these is a lump, and it's also based off stabilized metal, which again has more of that stuff. Uh, and that's just for the drill. If you look at this, it, it requires a lot. It is a ton. Of stuff to make this so I have to give my hats off to the guys who made this uh, they ended up getting I believe it was a month of premium for free so congratulations gentlemen you win you win a great victory now when it comes to engines there's a variety of different engines that you can use uh, for the cart let me get that pulled up here we go um, da -da 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 -da. there they are so you have the coal engine solar engine 
Tiny Coal Engine. Uh, Tiny Coal Engine is what most people use when they first start off. It's very small. It can't power a whole lot. Uh, it's kind of slow. Uh, obviously, the coal engine is its big daddy. Uh, you've got the solar engine and the basic solar engine, basically the same thing, except instead of running on coal, they run on solar power. Uh, you've got the compact solar engine, the creative engine, and then the thermal engine. Uh, thermal engine runs off of lava. Uh, the tricky thing about the thermal engine is for to make that work, you have to have some tanks, and those are kind of a bitch. Now, you can have internal tanks, which are right here. You can have side tanks, you can have top tanks, uh, but it depends on what other things you put in. Uh, we've decided to go with the coal engine, which I'm going to try and get you guys the visuals on. Pretty easy to make, honestly not that hard, um, and, and, and pretty, pretty basic. Uh, we also have the bridge builder. Now the bridge builder, the way it works, um, you need some bricks, some redstone, and a simple PCB. PCB is one of the basic things that is in Steve's carts. But the, what the bridge builder does is say the cart comes up to a lava field. Normally it would have to either go up or down. Uh, well, I'm sorry, not a lava field. A ravine. Let's say you come up across a hole. Uh, that could stop your cart. Well, now your cart is going to dig right over the hole. It's going to use cobblestone or whatever you tell it it can use, and it's going to place that, that that bridge right over there. Uh, we've got a large railer. There are two types of railers. There is the small railers, well, the railer, and then there is the large railer. Large railer is just a bigger, better version of the railer. It can hold more internal rails inside of it. We've also got the torch placer. Now, the torch placer is kind of cool. Um, when you're making Steve's carts, Steve's carts makes really long tunnels. And it's kind of cool at first, but, you know, when you're dealing with a, you know, 5,000 block tunnel, it gets kind of dark down there, and then you've got mobs spawning, and it gets really, really tricky. With the torch placer, it places torches on the way down and keeps you from having to go down in darkness to get your turn, your, your thing. Now, I believe with this one, we will have the option of having four internal storage tanks. These are kind of small. Uh, that's one of the drawbacks for the carts is there just really isn't a whole lot of storage space. So we're going to be utilizing four of them and hoping for the best. Uh, we have the ore extractor. This is another pretty expensive thing. What this does is basically, from what I understand, when Steve's carts is going through, let's say it'll do a 5x5 five five tunnel. When you get to the 5x5 five five tunnel, if you don't have this thing, let's say a piece of iron is on, the, is on the wall. It's on the sixth block. So you've just dug out the wall, but on the walls and up and down and below, you've got ores that are visible. Well, normally you couldn't get those. These, I believe, will yank that ore off of the sides. And I believe it also pulls complete veins. So as long as they're touching, it'll pull the veins as well. I may be incorrect on that. Um, that's just what I've, I've read. So if, if I have that slightly off, feel free to correct me in the comment section below. Uh, the height controller. In Minecraft, there is a lot of stuff that um, goes up and down. You have... You know, like, let's say a diamond is like 12 to 18, I think it is. That's its sweet spot. Uh, iron and such like that can spawn anywhere. There are certain materials that are in certain levels that you want to get. So, if you want certain things... Oh, my God. Oh, sorry, yawn came out of nowhere. It just snuck up on me and just sapped my ass out of... Just mysteriously came out of nowhere. It was a ninja, ninja yawn. Anyways, um, the height controller allows you to tell where you want the cart to go, how high, how deep, etc., etc., and it will go down and do it. Uh, the last one is the chunk loader. Uh, the chunk loader, what it does is it sets it up to where it's a, it's always loaded. Uh, that's one of the problems with the carts is the cart goes out, you know, a thousand bucks, and then it's outside of your range and it shuts down because the chunk isn't loaded into memory. It doesn't come back. It just sits there. With the chunk loader, it will go till it runs out of power, it runs out of railers, or its inventory fills up and then it will return. So it's a nice little feature to keep it from uh, from getting lost out there. And you definitely don't want it lost. I mean, these things can dig some pretty freaking gnarly tunnels, and it sucks. So definitely don't want that to happen. Now, there's quite a few other modules that we can do if we want. Uh, the problem with some of the other modules is... Um, I, I, most of them just don't have features that I want. You know, there's stuff you can get that will, whoa, hit the wrong button. 
and hit it multiple times. Oh, we're in trouble now. I think I just broke Minecraft. Come on, Minecraft. Don't shit on me. Please don't shit on me. You can do it. Oh, damn it. Alright, well. I think I broke Minecraft. <laughs> Would not be first time. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and skip ahead uh, until we get the uh, World War Minecraft loaded back up. And I'm going to show you guys one of the other massive drawbacks on this mod. So be right back. Right, so back after that minor snafu. Okay, so you're going to notice that our hull capacity is 1,000. Our complexity is 150. Total cost is 494. Um, we've pretty much got it well under. The thing you're going to notice right here, it's going to take 7 hours to complete this cart that's absolutely ridiculous so if you were to do this normally it would take forever uh, for the sake of this video i am going to be using the upgrade to creative mode what this basically does is it allows me to finish or it should allow me to finish this instantaneously if i can figure out where it goes it's supposed to it's supposed to fit in there i don't understand I'm a little confused. So what? Well, what the hell? Oh, that's kind of cool. That you can place it. Uh, can you slap it inside of there? Hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna try and figure out how to make this creative thing work. We're gonna spit this thing out real fast, and then I'll show you guys how it works. I understand? Uh, you hold Shift and click, and that's supposed. There we go. All right. So Shift right click. You see, we've got a creative mode on there now. And you can see here it says ready to assemble cart and it's just going to work with no problems. Otherwise, it would take a ridiculously long time. Alright, so now we've got our cart and I just want to show you guys this before we, uh, we do a little test run on the moon. And I don't know if I can even place it down without rails. Okay, let me go grab some rails and I'll show you guys what this is capable of doing. Alright, so I've got some rails. Um, now, these rails are a little bit different than normal rails because we don't have, uh, what do you call it, railcraft installed, so they're, they're pretty easy. You just need a stick and some iron. They're, they're very simple, in fact, uh, and if you want to use some other icons, you can even get ridiculous amounts of these little things going. Uh, but let's go ahead and get our, we'll set it up like this. And we should be able to put him down. We want to bump him so he turns around. Oh, no. Stupid cart. Oh, God. Come here. Come here. Come here. Did I get him? I think I got him. All right. Let's try this again. All right. Easy. Easy. And now I don't want you facing this way. All right. We're going to have to put some more carts down here. All right. Uh, right. We'll put a... Here. Do this. God, that mine's fast. Gotta love Tartarite. Alright, so we'll push that there, and then he should bounce off of it. Well, he'll bounce off of it here in a second. I think, actually, no, he won't. He'll dig right through it, won't he? Oh, stop, 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 stop. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. We're good. Alright, so this is the interface. Now, you gotta be careful with the interface, because... Uh, if you hit it, and we're going to go ahead and activate the chunk loading, I think we don't have access to... Why isn't it? Oh, well. Alright, so we've got torches here. Let's put our torches in here. And you can see the light level here. So if you want to turn it up or turn it down, it'll set it up to where basically how dark it has to be before the torches will start placing. Uh, we've got railers here, so we're going to go ahead and put railers in there. And then let's go ahead and dig out. Uh, we're going to need some of this stuff for... Uh, we're going to use this basically for... Good God. Dude, this is faster than creative. Have I mentioned how much I love this? Okay. Come here, guys. Come here. Stop flying. Get in my belly. Alright, that should be plenty for the... There we go. For our bridges. Oh, please tell me it'll... Oh, it won't let me use dirt. So I must have to use cobblestone. Do I have any cobblestone back here? Let me check. I mean, I know I've got plenty in there. I may actually have to go and get some from uh, from the planet. Uh, 
Shit. I can try Netherrack. I don't think Netherrack's gonna work, but we can give it a shot. We'll seal you. And I don't think there's any cobblestone on this planet, so if it doesn't take Netherrack, we're kind of bummed. Come on. No? Alright, well, we'll deal with it a little bit later. Uh, it shouldn't have to worry about it because I don't think there's any ravines on the moon. Alright, so here's all of our internal chests. So our internal chests, they're basically just going to be our storage. So when it runs out of storage, it's going to come back very similar to a turtle. Uh, let's set this up to... We want to mine... Let's set it up to mine it right around 20. Okay, you can actually see what is available here. So if we want diamonds, then we want to mine right around here. So that's going to be our sweet spot. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and put... And it sucks that I can't put this stuff in here. Sad face. Um, and this is... This is your drill right here. Now, normally the drills have a, um, a durability. And the more you use them, the, the harsher it gets durability-wise. But uh, since we have a Gal Gadorian drill, it's like, bitch, I don't care. It can do everything. So we're going to put that on. And there we go. Chunk cloning has been activated. And you can see how fast this thing mines. It's ridiculous. And I believe it's 9 by 9. Look at how deep it is. There it goes. It's finally gotten to the point where it doesn't mine the surface anymore. So you can watch as this thing's filling up. Look at that. That's insane. It's just, it, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Now I've got to figure out what we can use uh, for, the for the bridges. I'm thinking it's just because we're dealing with, uh, with moon stuff, but I may be wrong. I can also see uh, I was a little bit wrong, it looks like, because it did not snag the stuff in the walls. My god, this thing is ridiculous, man. Dude on freaking Mistcraft, this is going to be insane. This is going to be absolutely insane. Look at this thing, dude. Look how fast. Oh, my god. So I was a little worried that... <laughs> We weren't going to be able to get materials fast because we didn't have a quarry. But uh, this little monster, this little monster can make some room. I'm telling you what. And so now he's coming back up here to let me know that he's out of few. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Bad. Bad. I'm going to stand right here and you're going to drive right through me. Okay, well, that almost sucked. That almost sucked. <laughs> he had some space left, so he was able to do that. He's going to tire himself out here in a sec. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you going back? Oh, I bet that's because he ran out of fuel. No? Yeah, he ran out of fuel. That's why he dropped like a rock. So what we would normally have is up here. Uh, you can set an advanced detector rail and a few other things. Uh, and you can actually set it up to where every time it fills up it will come up here and it will deposit everything that it's got right into a chest and then it'll go back down. So once I have an ME system set up, we'll set a chest here uh, or on the Mistcraft world, maybe a uh, maybe a uh, ender chest and then it'll put into the ender chest which will immediately import into the ME system and then he'll rickroll his little ass back down there. And you can actually do a lot of functions with those uh, that'll let you automate it. But I will get to those in another video. Uh, you can also see that he's laid torches down here, so we don't have to worry about it getting dark. It is a little interesting. Something I want to point out. If you'll notice, if I place a torch, it's burned out. Not working. But because Steve Kartz is uh, a little different, when he places it, the torches burn just fine. Even in no atmosphere. It's magic, I tell you. Magic. <laughs> All right, so in the next video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up uh, Mistcraft. I'm going to have to head back to the overworld, uh, get that set up and sorted, and then we're going to utilize this bad Mamma Jamma to make some ridiculously evil tunnels on uh, our new Mistcraft age. So let me know what you guys think about this, this badass cart of death. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, if you're enjoying this series, make sure you slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.